Throughout the day, we make contact with a lot of things and exert many forces. For example, by pushing a shopping cart, running, or even just opening a fridge. Applying forces on objects grants us the ability to interact with our surroundings, and so is our universe. Even if it's unimaginably big, all of its components follow specific and strict rules to help govern all of the interactions. Hi, my name is Yessi, and in this video, we will be talking about one of the most essential rules of our universe, the strong nuclear force. First off, let's start with a quick experiment. If you take two magnets and point their positive poles to one another, what you will notice is a slight repulsion. And that got me thinking. If similar charges are repulsive, how can the nucleus be held together if it's primarily made by positively charged protons? The answer? It has to do with the strong nuclear force. But what causes the strong nuclear force? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. First off, we need to understand the concept of force carriers. A force carrier is an object on the atomic scale that, when expelled from one particle and absorbed by another one, sends a force. They are like a messenger who better helps transmit the force between two particles. For example, the photon is the force carrier of electromagnetism, so it is responsible for transferring the electromagnetic force between two particles. The result of this photon exchange is what we perceive in our everyday life as the electromagnetic force. The force carrier of the strong nuclear force is known as a gluon, which as the name may suggest, glues the quarks together. And depending on the arrangement of these quarks, we can end up having either a proton or a neutron. And those nucleons repeat what happened. But this time, not by exchanging gluons, but by exchanging another particle. This particle is known as a meson. This meson keeps bouncing between two particles and thus holding them together. So, to summarize, at this unbelievably small scale, we have two forces that dominate. If two similarly charged particles are far away from each other, the electromagnetic force would push them apart. But when they get close enough to one another, the strong nuclear interaction kicks in and starts pulling them closer to one another. And because of the extremely tiny radius of influence, which is even smaller than the radius of a nucleus, the strong nuclear force is considered as the strongest force, approximately 137 times as strong as electromagnetism, a million times as strong as the weak force, and about 10 to the power of 38 times as strong as gravity. That's how many zeros, by the way.